Developing tonight, a new COVID warning from Dr. Anthony Fauci. Prepare for more pain and suffering if people don't get vaccinated. And just take a look at what happened in July. The average number of cases in the U.S. jumped from 12,000 to 77,000. And the tri-state is now seeing a steady rise in cases too. Positive test rates rising to 3.5% in New Jersey. It's about 2% in Connecticut and New York. And tomorrow, we could get new mask guidelines in the city. News 4's Ida Siegel is live at a testing site on Manhattan's Upper West Side, Ida, that's been busy today. Yeah, Gilma, one of those mobile testing vans was actually parked behind me here on 97th Street. They wrapped up about half an hour ago. And, you know, lots of people thought that COVID testing was sort of a thing of the past. Thanks to the Delta variant, the COVID testing lines are back. According to locals, it's not a usual sight to see a line outside this mobile COVID testing van. But lately, this field operation has gotten a lot busier. Folks here say the Delta variant has them lining up. I've been vaccinated since February. Um, we saw some family. We just want to be extra cautious. You get tested regularly? Yes, yes, I do. Um, I'm about to travel, so I need to be tested. Public health officials say it's spreading rapidly, primarily among the unvaccinated. Just yesterday, there were more than 76,000 new infections in the U.S., a record high. In Florida, more than 10,000 people are hospitalized hospitalized with COVID infections, the most since the beginning of the pandemic. It's really, really frustrating just because, you know, when vaccines were available to my group, um, I went right away. I got, I was on top of it and I just am kind of dumbfounded by, you know, the response from a lot of America. Dr. Fauci on the Sunday morning political shows today warned it will get worse if people don't get vaccinated. We have a hundred million people in this country who are eligible to be vaccinated, who are not getting vaccinated. We are seeing an outbreak of the unvaccinated. There's Eaton Brown is not vaccinated. He says it's because he's nervous. So you, you're still mulling it over and... Yeah, because there are, there are a few um, concerns as to why it's not um, FDA approved as yet, but I'm, I'm getting over that fear, so um, pretty soon I expect to go ahead and get vaccinated. Meanwhile, Mayor de Blasio is expected to announce new mask guidelines tomorrow, now that the CDC is asking people to return to wearing masks indoors. We he will did. address masks. We will. Okay. But we have to make sure everything we do supports vaccination. Yeah, you can do more than one thing, but you better make sure the two things support each other, especially the most important piece, which is by far vaccination. Yeah, the mayor is expected to make that decision about the masking uh, tomorrow. You will recall last week he initiated the mandatory vaccines for city workers and also the $100 incentive for people to go ahead and get vaccinated. Reporting live from the Upper West Side, Ida Siegel, News 4, New York. Ida, thank you.